All right, y'all. We back. Episode two, I Society TV. We got a special guest in the building. Uh, just dropped his debut album, Game Affiliated, not too long ago. Uh, good book. How you living, sir. man? Living good, man. Feeling good, looking good. Everything good. I heard that, man. Uh, for those that don't know you, we're going to go into your backstory a little bit. You know, feel yeah. free to talk about whatever you want based off, you know what I'm saying, what I'm talking to you about. Mm -hmm. So uh, just go ahead and tell me where you're from and uh, how your upbringing uh, influenced you. Man, good book, man. I was born in Long Beach. Um, raised in the high E. Uh, born in Long Beach, raised in the high E. Um, have the both have the best of both worlds, as far as um, street knowledge and you know, being being in the streets and you know, grinding this shit. What would you say um, is the main difference that you see between uh, Long Beach and then Riverside? Um, at the time, it was more of you know gang shit and Long Beach. Yeah. And I didn't really see most of that in Riverside. I mean, it may be there now, but you right. already know how to. Identification movement we have exactly to push everybody <laughs> exactly. out this way. So you know, well, shit. When I was out here, it was just white boys, mm. you know, skaters and stuff like that. So I was influenced by skaters, mm, okay. was cool as hell. and Long Beach had me influenced by gang members. <laughs> <laughs> and how you would say? How would you say that uh, that shaped you into who you are now as a person? Um, man, it showed me that you know, especially like being being in Long Beach, a lot of bullshit going mm. on all the time. You know, I didn't have to deal with it as much as they did. Right. So, you know, it, it humbled me in a certain type of way mm -hmm. because, you know, it felt like I made it out right. somewhat, yeah. you know, exactly. as a kid. So, yeah, that um, influenced me in so many ways as far as, like, how I am today. Right. And then when did you start uh, getting into music? Um, I was into music uh, really young. Um, my pops had a record shop when I was a kid. Um, I was always like influenced by Snoop and the West Coast mm -hmm. movement and all, and all that. So, yeah. you know, that pushed me to, man, just record all tapes and shit. Grab my sister's boom box, pops old school mm -hmm. tapes, record over shit. He'd be mad about it sometimes, <laughs> but, you know, shit, I was trying to get my voice out right. some type of way. I don't care if it was just me listening to it. Right. And then, do you remember the first song you actually recorded? Yeah, me and, uh, me and C. Dad recorded a song in his record studio. I was probably about, um, Oh, yeah, 19 years old. Mm. 19 years old. I want to say it's called Y'all Old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mama. Um, yeah, that might have been one of them. Mm. If it was one before that, I don't remember the name of it, but yeah, we started very young. Uh, and did that uh, help you develop your love and passion for it? Oh, yeah. Like your ability oh, yeah, to man. know, like, okay, boom, now I got something recorded, now it's just going to take off for you? Yeah, because it went from me just recording off a of boombox to actually mm -hmm. being in. It wasn't the biggest studio, but it was an actual studio, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, where I could close the door to a booth and it just right. be in the mic. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was a shit right there. That influenced me to, man, keep that shit going for sure. Right. Mm -hmm. And then, do you have anybody in your life helping you uh, with that too, or? Um, not a, not until I met Dub and um, Golden, mm. until Ism Records, because, um, you know, I could I could talk about my family about it, but it's not like they didn't have any ties. Uh, okay. You know, even though pops would take me to like uh, um, VIP in Long Beach, and mm. I would you know be around the albums, buying the CDs, and they had a studio in the back where I actually met Snoop two or three times. Oh, okay. But um, it wasn't like you know they were pushing me to do music right. or anything like exactly. that. Exactly. So you kind of had to find those people that. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. crazy. The universe works like that, so. Ended up running to, the, to these dudes, and then, uh, yeah, we're still rocking. Mm, Doing okay. music, recording, you know. Okay, and then, uh, well, what is your process uh, when you get into the studio? Um, I like to um, listen to beats first. Okay. I'm, I'm all about listening to beats. I mean, I need a smacker. I'm looking for something that's going to catch my ear. Mm. Or it depends on how I'm feeling at that particular time. And, um, yeah, start writing. Mm. Come up with a hook first. If the hook not, shit, move yeah. on to the verses. Feel me about, am I going to get a feature on it? I don't know. It depends right. on who's around. When my bro's around, then we might do something, collab on it. Right. But, um, yeah. And then how often do you, how often do you uh, scrap stuff? I know a lot of times when people get into the studio, they might record five, six songs, and then they might not like none of them, and they say, okay, I'm going to just start over. Is it, you yep. go sometimes, that same sometimes I'll scrap some shit, or I'll just um do a hook and a verse, and um I'll keep... I'll keep it if I don't want to work on it right now. Mm. 
and then listen to it later, maybe try to revisit that same energy that I had when I did that and see how I feel about it. Okay. But I don't think I've ever just said, fuck a song and just right. completely deleted it right. unless I came up with something that was better Way than what better. it was. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, also, how, how long did it take you to, to come up with this album that you knew, okay, this particular group of songs, I'm going to make this my album? Like, mm. when did that click on for you? The crazy thing was I already had a bunch of songs mm. and I think I was at Dub's house or something and I was just like, man, I need more content now. Right, yeah. <clears throat> so I was able to just piece these songs that I did over this year mm. and just put them together and they, they already sound, you know, it's like me. They flow, exactly. Yeah, they yeah. sound like they flow. So I yeah. just put them in a, a particular order and it just came out to be something that I like. Mm. Listen to it over and over and over. Bros listen to it over and over and over. And whatever they, whenever they felt like the song should move, we moved the song. Right. Um, mastered them, mm. and then it just came together. Mm.